Hello everyone, I'm Liu Jianming, Minita. Today, I will introduce method of bisection search and method of grid search. Here is outline of my presentation. First, we need to know what is zero. Simply speaking, a zero is the solution of fx equals zero for a given function f. Then comes the concept of method of bisection search. Bisection method in mathematics is a root finding method that repeatedly bisects interval and then selects a subinterval in which a root must lie for further processing. To know it clearly, we need to know two theorems. First is intermediate value theorem. If f is a continuous function defined on the interval a to b, and k is any number between fa and fb, then there exists a number c in interval a to b for which fc equals k. The second one is the corollary of the first one. If fa is a continuous function defined on the interval a to b with fa and fb of opposite sign, then there exists a number c in interval a to b for which fc equals 0. Compared with the first one, this one just let k equals zero, and we can get it. You should bear in mind that there are two key points. First, at least one number p, which means sometimes, maybe usually, there are more than one p. Last, the method calls for repeated bisecting of intervals of a to b. And at each step, locating the half containing p. Here are make steps. To begin, set a1 equals a and b1 equals b, and let p1 be the midpoint of interval a to b. That is, p1 equals half of sum of a1 and b1. Then we check function value of p1. If fp1 equals 0, then we get what we want. Else if fp1 does, does not equal 0, then there will be two situations. If fp1 and fa1 have the same sign, then the value p we want will be in interval p1 to b1. Hence, we set a2 equals b1 and b2 equals b1. Similarly, we set a2 equals a1 and b2 equals p1. Here now, we finish the first process, then reply the process to the interval a2 to b2. At last, we can get the value p we want. Here is an example. Show that the function f has a zero in this interval and use the bisection method to determine an approximation to this root that is a current to at least within this range. Before solve the question, we plot fx using r. We can see around x equals 1.4, fx equals 0. Here is the specific solution. First, we check if there is a zero. By calculation, we know that f1 is less than zero and f2 is larger than zero. By FAT, we ensure that this continuous function has a zero in this interval. According to steps we mentioned before, we can get this table. After 13 iterations, we can get the root equals this value with the error less than this value. Finally, we make sure that the approximation is correct to at least vz 10 to the power negative 4. Then we go to the second part. Besides method of bisection search, Method of grid search is also a useful method. It involves setting up a suitable grid in the design space, evaluating the objective function at all the grid points, and find the grid point 
corresponding to the minimum or maximum. In a word, it evaluates the function value at each grid point to find minimum or maximum. Also, it can find fx equals zero by the relationship between these two functions. Each of us has learned this equation in mathematical class. The main steps are easy to see but hard to do. First, we need to divide the function domain into a suitable grid, then do calculation at all the grid points. However, there are too many grid points. We use an example to explain it. For the function fx, find the minimum in this interval. Similarly, we plot it first. We can see that the curve is decreasing until minimum and then increase to its maximum. We need to mention that there is just one variable, which means that we just need to divide x variable. As picture shows, we divide the given interval into 201 sub-intervals. That is to see, we get 200 grid points. We need to calculate 200 times. Finally, we find that in all grid points, when x equals 0.93, fx has a minimum. I want to see that for grid search method, 200 is just a tiny number. Therefore, we can imagine that what a huge amount the calculation is. Since we have already learned two methods, why not compare them to get a better one? Of course, they have similarities. For example, both of them need a larger amount of calculation. We have experienced it in above example. Then, they both can be very slow, although you can use computers. Following are the comparisons of two methods. First is about the currency. For method of bisection search, it may not find all numbers C in interval A to B, for which Fc equals zero. For example, looking at this curve, at point A, Fa is less than zero, where at point B, Fb is larger than zero. At their midpoint C, Fc is less than zero, which means that the next search will continue in the interval C to B. However, for method of grid search, since all the domain is used, it can find all roots. But actually, it, the value we get depends on grid we set. The smaller grid, the more accurate value. For variable, method of bisection search only need one variable, where method of grid search is not limited. What's more, for STEM, the former need to calculate one by one, where the later can calculate at the same time. And comparisons finished. Finally is the application part. First is about bisection search method in computer science. The bisection search method can be used to find the position of a specific input value within an array sorted by key value. You need to notice that the array should be arranged in ascending or descending order. In each step, the method compares search key value with the key value of the middle element in of the array. If keys match, OK, we find what we want and its index or position will be returned. Or to our regret, the keys not match. Things will happen if search k is less than middle element k, then steps repeat on the sub array to the left of the middle element. Or 
if third k is larger than middle element k, then the steps repeat on the subarray to the right of the middle element. There is another situation that the remaining array to be searched is empty. In this case, a special not found indication is returned. Take an example. We want to know the position of 9 in the following array. We know that the array is in an ascending order. In first search, we find the midpoint by this calculation and we get A4 equals 24. Because 9 is less than 24, the search k is on the subarray to the left of A4. Then continue the second search. Also, by this calculation, we get A2 equals 9. Finally, print A2. Another application is number guessing game. Game start. The computer will generate a number between 1 and 100. Then player A and player B take turns to guess the number. The rule is that if player P chooses the number generated, he will lose the game. This game uses dissection search, but there are some changes. Those numbers are not compared with midpoint, but a random number player guessed in that interval. Here are the R program of the number guessing game. If you have interest in this game, you can type them down and um, play it yourself. As for method of grid search, it can be used in many software programs. Here are two examples. Besides, we can not only use this method, but also improve it such as PGSM. PGSM is a method based on the method of grid search. Here I just mentioned it. You, if you have interest in it, you can search it in the internet. Finally, these are my reference list. And thank you for your watching. Bye-bye.